Hello everybody. Last time I talked about how to import and manage a member cluster from the host cluster through direct connection. This method is applicable when the Cube API server address of the member cluster can be exposed or the host cluster and member clusters are in the same private network or subnet. In most cases in reality, we need to manage heterogeneous clusters across different platforms or clouds. This means direct connection may not be applicable. In this case, we can use tower for the connection between the host cluster and the member clusters. If your host cluster cannot access a member cluster directly, you need to expose the proxy service address of the host cluster. This enables the member cluster to connect to the host cluster through an agent running on the member cluster. After successful handshaking, the agent will establish a secured SSH connection through the proxy that runs on the host cluster. This allows traffic from the host cluster to be forwarded to the local Kubernetes API server and KubeSphere API server of the member cluster. As you can see, agent connection is extremely useful when your clusters are distributed across different cloud providers. In this tutorial, my host cluster is deployed on Azure it is an AKS cluster, Azure. And my member cluster is deployed on another cloud platform. First, let's take a look at documentation. We need to set a cluster as the host cluster, which is the same as direct connection. So this time we use agent connection. Now let's log into the host cluster. This is my host cluster on AKS. In fact, there's also a guide related to the deployment of KubeSphere on AKS. You can take a look at it. I have already changed the service type of KS console to load balancer. So uh, I can run this command to get the external IP address of my host cluster on AKS, we can use the cloud share of AKS directly. So uh, run this command. This is the external IP address of my Kubernetes cluster. So I can just use it to access the console directly. After we log into the console, we need to change the YAML file of KS installer because we need to set um, this cluster as the host cluster. So go to cluster management in CRDs, search cluster configuration. Edit the YAML. So uh, this is my uh, host cluster. Click update. Now we need to wait for a while so that the change can take effect. This may take a couple of minutes. Next, we need to set the proxy and service address. As we wait, we can run this command to see if tower is running. So uh, run this command on your host cluster. So we need to uh, wait for a while. Now tower is running, as you can see. Note that the service type of tower is load balancer. Generally speaking, if you deploy your Kubernetes cluster on the cloud, the external IP address can be allocated automatically like AKS. If the external IP address of tower remains pending, you need to create a port forwarding rule. 
take a look at a guide here. If the status of the external IP address remains pending, you need to forward port 8080 to this port, but keep in mind that the port may be different for your cluster, your own port, okay? And after that, you need to edit the YAML file of KS installer like what I did just now. So uh, basically, you also go to CRDs and you find cluster configuration. You need to add a line manually. So uh, that is your host cluster. You need to add this line to KS installer. This is the external IP address of your host cluster. So you need to add a line here manually. But obviously I do not need to do that because I already have the external IP address. Like I said, if your Kubernetes cluster is deployed on the cloud, it is very likely that you will get external IP address automatically. So you don't need to do this uh, like AKS. Now let's go to the next step. We need to make sure the JWT secret of the host cluster and member cluster is the same. First, we need to get it from the host cluster. Run this command on the host cluster. That's the JWT secret. So copy it. Likewise, I need to change the KS installer file of my member cluster. This is my member cluster. It is deployed on another platform. The steps are basically the same. You just need to change the YAML file of KS installer cluster configuration. So uh, that's the JWT secret. We just paste it here. And keep in mind that you need to change the role of the cluster, change it to member. And click update. Now back to the console of my host cluster, I need to keep refreshing the page and I will see the central control plan after a while. As you can see, now I have my central control plan ready. I can begin to import a cluster, keep add cluster and set a cluster name. For example, a member cluster. You can um, set a tag for it, demo and add a description a member cluster, for example. Next, in connection method, I will just select uh, agent connection. Click import. Based on the instructions here, I need to create an agent YAML file on my target cluster or the member cluster and apply it. So. Uh, that is my member cluster. Copy the content here. Run this command to apply the configuration. Now I just need to wait for a while and my member cluster will be imported. Just keep refreshing the page and your member cluster will be ready like this. So uh, take a look at my member cluster. Everything looks fine. You can also go back to the central control plan my host cluster and my member cluster. The host cluster also looks fine. So this time I just demonstrated how to import a member cluster through agent connection. 
we need to use the component tower. I think the most important step in this tutorial is about how to set the proxy service address. As long as you can get the proxy service address correct, the rest of the steps are basically the same as you import a cluster through direct connection. That will be all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.